Yo, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're talking about the new weapons coming out in 1.4. So there are three four stars and one new five star bow. The first one is the Alley Flash. This one is going to be a Wish exclusive weapon and you cannot get this after the weapon rate of banner unless of course it pops back up again and look at his base attack dude the base attack is 620 that is amazing the highest base attack sword in the game is 674 this thing is 620 so it's almost like a five star weapon the passive says increases damage dealt by the character equipping this weapon by 12 percent taking damage disables this effect so if you use this on a support character who's never on the field that character only pops in to use his skills or burst then you'll always have 12 percent more damage and a high base attack this is going to be amazing on bennett bennett with such high base attack that means he will be able to give a higher attack buff to your other characters if you're not short on energy recharge then this is amazing on bennett if you like damage testing like making clips this is gonna be good if you don't have a five star weapon that has a higher base stat another character that i think this would be good on is xing Cho. you will need energy recharge on xing Cho. if you use this on your xing Cho support and then you have another let's say pyro main dps and then you use xing Cho. He will have 12% damage basically all the time. Shincho has very high scaling on his skill. It is gonna slap. When he does his burst, you're also doing 12% more damage with his burst. And you have 55 elemental mastery. So if you're doing elemental reactions like uh, vaporize with your pyro main DPS, sometimes it is Shincho who activates the vaporize. So the 55 elemental mastery does help a bit. Although it doesn't matter that much because it's not a high value, but it still helps. So I think this uh, weapon would be great on Bennett or Shincho, but in both cases, you want energy recharge. Probably want to put energy recharge on their sands. Alley Flash looks like a crack weapon. So another four star weapon in the 1.4 patch, a catalyst is called the Wine and Song. Uh, this one has energy recharge and base attack of 565. The passive is interesting. Hitting an opponent with a normal attack decreases stamina consumption of sprint by 14 uh 14 percent for five seconds additionally uh, anytime you sprint you increase your attack by 20 percent for five seconds now 20 percent attack is uh it's not it's not huge it's not a big deal but it still helps the energy recharge substat this tells me that this weapon is built for a mona support you got energy recharge which gives mona more hydro damage bonus and then more attack you just gotta sprint you don't need to hit any monsters you don't need to get hit you just need to sprint and then you get 20 percent more attack it's, it's probably gonna be good if you don't have wits it i think this is a very very good option on mona it, it could also be good for sucrose or any support dps but i think the one most benefiting from this is uh, mona this weapon is exclusive to the banner so you have to wish to get it this one the wind bloom oak is actually free so it says here uh, you can obtain from the event shop that means you just have to do some quests and then you have to get the, the special currency and then use that currency to buy this bow from the shop this has elemental mastery 165 base attack of 510 after using an elemental skill they receive a boon from the ancient wish of the wind bloom increasing attack by 16 percent for six seconds this looks like it's going to be good on support bow characters official venti however i think this is overshadowed by stringless although stringless is not a free weapon you have to wish for it and this one is free so there there is that consideration so stringless gives 165 elemental mastery they have the same now if you look at the passive the stringless stringless increases this is r1 stringless increases elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 24 percent elemental skill and elemental burst damage increased by 24 percent is huge compared to R1 of this, R1 of this is attack by 16%. Attack by 16% is not that good. Uh, you can almost not feel it. But what if you get R5? So I'm assuming since it's a free weapon, you can get R5. Just like Festering Desire, you were able to get R5 for free. It's probably gonna be 32%. Yeah, it increases attack by 32% for 6 seconds. I don't think that will beat R1 of Stringless. That is 24% applied to final damage this is applied to your total attack so I, I don't think it's gonna be better than stringless but if you don't have stringless then you can get r5 of the wind bloom ode for your support character venti official this thing is broken i can't believe this isn't the game <laughs> well i can't believe it power creep this may oil this uh, paragraph is very long but basically all you need to remember is that right off the bat you get energy recharge 55.1 percent and you also get 60 elemental mastery 
with no conditions. When you do a skill or a burst with the character equipping this weapon, you gain one stack of Sigil of Remembrance. Once you gain four stacks of Sigil of Remembrance, you get 100 Elemental Mastery for the whole party and attack increase by 20% for the whole party. Bro, if you're using Venti, you, you get unlimited burst and you get multiple hits of your burst. You can get four stacks almost immediately and you have 100 elemental mastery attack by 20% for your whole party. This would also be good on Fischl because Fischl, even when she's off the field, Oz will do continuous hits and you can get stacks of Sigil of Remembrance and therefore get the buffs from this weapon very, very easily. Once the effect is triggered, the buff is triggered, you will not be able to gain stacks of Sigils of Remembrance for 20 seconds. So basically you have 12 second uptime and then you have to wait eight seconds until you can get more stacks. And after those eight seconds, once you get four stacks, you can then again get the buff. So this weapon is broken. I gotta be honest, I don't like how Mihoyo comes out with uh, weapons that are perfect for a certain character, especially a five-star weapon, because it makes you feel bad for not having it. It's not good for build diversity. It's not good for building characters in the game, making content in the game, because all you have to say is Staff of Homa is the best. LG for the end is the best. It makes stuff boring, so I don't like it. It is a gacha game, fam. What are we gonna do about it? I, I do wanna say that, again, for free-to-play play players and low spenders, you don't need any of the five-star weapons. You don't even need any of the five-star characters. You can complete all of the content in the game with four-star characters and four-star weapons. Those are the new weapons that are coming out in the new weapon banner for 1.4, along with the Venti character rate of banner. We'll cover more content once we do get more news about 1.4. So make sure to subscribe if you're on YouTube, all of you on Facebook, turn on those notifications and maybe join our Discord. We got 5,000 people, active players. You can ask help there. You can farm with other people. You can check the character builds in the Discord. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you around in the next video.